Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're gonna to be building another piece of construction equipment here, and we're gonna be building this road paving machine, along with the dump truck feeding it here. And this is what it looks like. So let's get right into our build now. And as you can see, we're gonna build it on a patch of coarse dirt here, so that it looks like we're actually laying a road down on top of something. So we're going to start off with the front wheels of the dump truck, so take a block of coal for the wheel. And then three polished blackstone top slabs here, and then another block of coal for the other front wheel. On the front end of it, put five polished blackstone slabs up here. And behind it in the middle, we're going to do a three by four of polished blackstone top slabs like this. Then coming off the side of this, we're going to do a line of ten more polished blackstone slabs coming back. And then ten on this other side and leave the middle open here. Then one in the middle back here, and then another one in the middle at the back. Then we're gonna put a block of coal here, and here, skip a block, and skip a block, slabs in the middle, and then coal on either side aligned with those slabs so you have six back wheels. Then we're gonna go through and put an item frame on the side of all of these wheels and then go back through and put a block of iron in all of the item frames here. Then we're gonna come up by the front wheels and we're gonna do the stairs here. We're gonna skip one block behind the front wheels and put three polished andesite slabs here, three on this side. In the middle of this, we'll do a three by three of smooth quartz blocks on top then in the middle of this, an upside down outward facing polished andesite stair, and then one facing inward on either side. And repeat the process on this side here, so that we look like that. Next, come on the front middle, and we're going to go three wide with smooth stone slabs and two blocks tall. Then a forward facing smooth quartz stair on each front corner. And here in the middle, two rows of three smooth quartz blocks. Then a smooth quartz slab here, and here and in this gap, a backward facing smooth quartz stair here and here. Then we're gonna add another slab here and here. Then on this layer in the middle, two rows of three smooth quartz blocks. Then we're gonna come three on the side, across the back and up this side. Then put a fence gate here and a stair here for a seat. Then a cyan stained glass pane on the back middle, smooth quartz on either side. Then a cyan stained glass pane on each side and three stained glass blocks on the front. Then three iron trap doors here, two rows of three smooth quartz slabs here. Then three smooth quartz slabs on top of the windshield here. And behind that, two rows of three smooth quartz blocks up here. Now come on top and put three acacia buttons up here. Then on the side under the window, a lever going up here and one on this side. Above the lever on each side, put another brick fence. Then here, a stone button and here a stone button. On this side, put an iron bar here and a stone button above it. Then we're gonna put an iron bar on the side of the spender right here and on this side. And on top of those, we're gonna put an angled skeleton skull like this on either side for extra mirrors. Now come back here, put two smooth quartz blocks right here and two on this outside edge. Then on the back of the cab on this side, two stone brick walls and then two nether brick fences for the smokestack. Then take polished black stone wall, put three across right here, and then come all the way down this side, and then all the way down this side. Then across the back, and one on all three of these middle slabs. Then right here behind the smooth stone blocks, put two wither skeleton skull, and two on this side here. Now, come into a loom with a black banner and brown dye and put this spade on it for the mud flap. And come back here and put one on the back of this back wheel and one on this side right here. Now we'll do the brake lights. So we're gonna come down on the rear end of this truck here and we'll get some glow item frames. And we're gonna put 
one glow item frame here and here with redstone blocks in them. Then up here on this upper edge, we're gonna go five wide on the top hitbox here with polished andesite slabs. Then on the next block forward on top here, we're gonna go five wide with two rows of polished andesite blocks like this. Then we're gonna come forward one and then up one so it's kitty corner and we're gonna do another two rows of five polish andesite blocks on this level. And then forward one and up one again and another two rows of five. And then forward and up one again, another two rows of five. And one more time, forward one and up one again, another two rows of five polish andesite blocks here. Then we're gonna come underneath the corner here and put five polish andesite slabs under here. And then five under this corner, five under this corner, and five under this corner, just to smooth that out. Then we're gonna come to the back with polish andesite block. And we're gonna put a column of two here and two here. Then come on the very front on top and we're gonna do two rows of five across the front up here. Then we're gonna take polish andesite stairs right side up facing outward. One there, two there, two here, two here, one here. Repeat on this side with outward facing stairs. And then above all those stairs, we're simply gonna put upside down polish andesite stairs facing outward. So that the side has this three dimensionality here. Do the same thing here above all these stairs. Put upside down polish andesite stairs on top of all of them. Then we'll take polish andesite slabs now on the top. Put two here, two here, two here, two here, and then come up and around the top of this. And then come back down this side and put two on top of all these. We're also gonna put three across the top back right here. Then on the back of this, on these bottom corners, we're gonna put a glow item frame with redstone blocks in them on either side. And then above it on each side, two mangro buttons. Then we're gonna detail the side, so we're gonna take a birch sign, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. Then next to uh, all of the birch signs, we're gonna go back through and put a mangrove sign on all these levels. And of course, we'll repeat on this side. So a birch sign here, 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 then here, and here. And then next to all these, we'll put a mangrove sign next to each one. Then we'll come up on the front of this and we're gonna put a mangrove button here and one here. Then we'll take polish andesite slabs and do five across right here. And we're gonna put five backward facing polish andesite stairs here. Actually, I don't like the shape of that. So I'm gonna take these slabs off the bottom turn them into five upside down forward facing polish andesite stairs under here. So it looks like that. Now we'll do the hydraulics. So come under here with a polished deep slate wall in the middle and we need it right here so it connects. Then down one over one. Then we'll take blackstone brick wall. We're gonna put one in the middle down here, one here, one coming back. And actually, we're gonna move this wall to this corner so it's more angled like that. And I'm also not liking how this lip on the back is, so I think we're just gonna take these five slabs off. So that's the basic build on the dump truck, and then we're gonna start working on the actual road paver machine here. So we'll come behind this with oak stairs, right here in the middle, three backward facing stairs and then wrap around the corner on each side like this. Then on the outer edge behind this, we're gonna put wheels, so a block of coal here, skip one in here. Same thing on that side. Put an oak fence gate in between the wheels on each side, then an item frame on all four wheels. Then in the item frames, put a block of gold on all four of them. Then in the middle, a three by three of yellow concrete in here. Then behind this, another three by three of yellow concrete. 
Then we're gonna put an oak fence gate here and here. Then behind that, an end stone brick wall on either side. Then on top of the walls, another brick fence on each side. Then we'll add three more yellow concrete on the back here. Then there's bigger wheels. So on the side of this, use black stone brick stairs to make a two by two plus shape. Then we're gonna put a dark oak fence gate here and here. Same thing on this side, and stone brick stairs, make a two by two plus shape. Then put a dark oak fence gate here and here. Then we'll come up top in between these bigger wheels here and do two rows of three yellow concrete in the middle. And actually one more row of three yellow concrete in front of it, right here. Then in front of that, three black concrete in the middle. Then an upside down backward facing mangrove stair here and here. Then in front of the stair on each side, we're gonna do three yellow concrete coming forward on this top outside edge and three over here. Then we're gonna put an oak stair facing here and here on each side. Then come back here on top of this stair, do two black concrete here and an upside down mangrove stair here. Repeat it on this side. Then on the side of the black concrete, put two birch buttons here two on this side. Then in front of the black concrete, we're gonna put a yellow concrete on the top of each side, and then an oak slab here and here. Then we're gonna come back here behind this mangrove stair on top, and we're gonna put two upside down, outward facing oak stairs up here, and two upside down stairs on this side. Then we're gonna line up with this mangrove stair and go three wide with yellow concrete and bring it back and we're gonna make a row of three in the middle sticking off the back like this. Now we're gonna come on top of this yellow concrete section on the front of it, and in the middle, we're gonna put three forward facing polished black stone stairs here, then a skeleton skull on either side. Behind that, three yellow concrete in the middle, then a dark oak trap door on the top of each side, and in the middle, a polished deep slate wall and another brick fence for the exhaust. Then a polished deep slate wall here and here, and put a fence gate here and here for the steering columns. Then we gotta do the seats. So we're gonna take end stone brick wall and we're gonna put one here for the support and one here. And then we'll put a forward facing polished deep slate stair on either side for the seats up here. Then come up here in the middle and a black stone brick block in the center, another brick wall behind it. Then put a fence gate on either side of it and open them. On top of it, a dark oak trap door. And also, we're gonna put a dark oak trap door here and here. Now we're gonna come down on the bottom behind this. And we're gonna take blackstone brick stairs right here. And we're actually gonna go seven blocks wide with it like this. Then wrap around the corner, two here and two here. Then we're gonna fill the middle of this with two rows of five black stone brick block. Then finally on the back middle, five smooth stone slabs in the middle. Then come up in here, and we're gonna put a polished deep slate wall here and here, and a fence gate in the middle. Then a black stone brick block in the center, open a fence gate on this side, and then this side, and one closed fence gate on the back. Then take a dark oak trap door, close one here, and one here. On this yellow concrete, we're gonna put three birch fence gates, and we're gonna open the outer ones. Then we're gonna come on the side of these stairs, put three dark oak fence gates here, and open the outer two. And then same thing on this side, three dark oak fence gates here, and open the outer two. Now come up here, put three yellow carpet here and three here. Then we're gonna use black stone block for our tar coming out. And we're gonna put two rows of three here coming out of the dump truck. Then right here in the middle, we'll do a column. Then one here and here. And we'll fill the whole bottom of this in with black stone. Then on top and here, we'll add some assorted black stone blocks and some assorted black stone slabs to give it three dimensionality. We'll put a slab on here. Then we're gonna come up into the truck here, put three black stone blocks here, two rows of three here, two rows of three here. Finally, two rows of three here. 
then we'll put one on the middle here and here and here and right here then we'll round this off more so put a slab here a slab here and here down in there slab here here and here 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 and here up here we'll put three slabs one there and then actually one more here and three like that just to round it off then right here three polished andesite slabs on top then we're gonna come one hit box down here and three more polished andesite slabs in the middle here for the gate on the truck then we're actually gonna come underneath here add a slab under here just to round that off better and then down here we're gonna add five oak slabs across this so it looks like it's pouring into this machine then final step here, we're going to come behind this, where these smooth stone slabs are. And we'll knock out five wide of our dirt, and going however far back you want it to go here. I didn't go very far for the sake of time. And just knock all that out. And then we can fill it with black concrete, or whatever you're going to be using as the block for your road. So finish roads coming out the back here. And that's what it looks like. So there we have it, folks. We finally completed our Minecraft dump truck with road paving machine. I hope everyone enjoyed the tutorial here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, everyone.